get to question six of the test five review. The question says, calculate the critical angle in going from diamond to water. It gives us the index of refraction of water, 1.33. Diamond is 2.42. The critical angle, by definition, is the angle at which if you go from a heavier medium to a lighter medium, let's say you go from N is, in this case, you're going from 2.42 to an index of refraction, N is 1.33. Whenever light goes from a heavier medium to a lighter medium, if a light wave were to come, it would um, refract into the uh, lighter medium. We call a lighter medium one that has a lower index of refraction. So from a heavier to lighter, the speed of light increases, right? So when the light front, uh, wave front is coming, which way does it bend? The wave front that hits the lighter medium speeds up, the wave front that is still in the heavier medium is still going slow, so the light bends this way. Bends this way, bends this way, so the beam of light bends away from the normal, right? We, we call that bending away from the normal. This is the incident angle, and then this is the refracted angle. Now, there's a phenomenon known as total internal reflection. Total internal reflection. That's an important phenomenon. Total internal refraction, or we can call it reflection, total internal reflection. So what happens? If I take this beam of light and the beam of light comes at a more steep angle, right? What's gonna happen? If beam of light comes at a steep angle and it's gonna refract into the other medium, well, what's gonna happen is this refraction angle might be so small, right? It might actually not even refract, right? So what's gonna happen is it will go a slide along, slide along the surface, essentially. It will never come out of the surface. If, uh, if the, this angle is small, or we can call this angle is really large, the angle with respect to the normal. We call this theta incident uh, critical. Right? So anything greater than theta incident critical, it means the beam of light is coming in pretty parallel to the surface. It won't even go into the other surface. It won't refract into the other surface. It will completely reflect. So if anything above that, what's going to happen? This one will come like this. And instead of gliding along the surface, it will mostly reflect. Okay. And then after that, if anything more than that, it will reflect, you see, like that, like that. So it stays inside of this surface, right? So <coughs> how do we calculate that critical angle? Well, the condition for uh, total internal reflection is that the beam of light barely comes, skims along the surface, and this angle is 90 degrees. The angle of refraction is 90. There must, that means it's not really refracting at all. It's basically gliding along the surface, right? Anything greater than that, it reflects. So N1 sine theta incident critical, N2 sine theta, theta refracted. Here's what we're going to put. Theta refracted is 90. So sine of 90, it gives you 1, right? This thing is 90. So to find the critical angle in going between two mediums, sine theta incident critical and 2 over n1. So what do I put? The index of refraction of the lighter medium goes in the numerator. And then the index of refraction of the heavier medium, 2.42, goes in the denominator. Okay? So I take 1.33 divided by 2.42. I take the sine inverse of that. 33.34, something like that. So it's 33 degrees, okay? So that means anything more than 33, so it's actually not this steep. Anything more than 33, it's gonna stay in the Diamond. This one is diamond. Okay, so which one answer is that? That's answer C. Okay. 
This is actually very important technology because it's the technology behind fiber optics. If you have a fiber optic cable, right, and you want to transfer uh, information from one side to the other, you shoot a beam of light through the fiber optic cable at kind of a steep angle, right? And instead of going in, out to the air, it stays inside, reflects, and then this one, if it's a <coughs> steep angle, that means it will not go outside, it will reflect, and then if that's a steep angle, it will reflect, and then this cable can be miles and miles long, right? Nowadays, we have television, TV cables that are transmitted through fiber optics. We have telephone lines and all kinds of information. This can go on for miles and miles, and it will, you will not have loss of information, not have loss of signal, okay? By the way, this um, total internal reflection is also the um, a theory behind why diamonds sparkle so well. Of theta incident critical, is the index of refraction of air over index of refraction of diamond. So this is approximately 1, 2.42. 1 divided by 2.42. Take the sine inverse of that. 24. 24.41 degrees. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means if you have a diamond here and the beam of light is inside of a diamond and this is the normal line, any ray of light, this is the critical angle and then it goes, slides along, right? This is the diamond here, right? So if a beam of light comes like this and this angle is 24.41, right? Look how small of an angle that is. Any beam of light that comes more than that, like this, reflects inward, reflects inward, reflects inward, reflects inward, okay? So basically the angle of reflection should be the same as the angle of incidence, right? It's all reflecting and then coming over here, right? If any beam of light comes more this way, only those ones can escape. They come this way, and then they can escape out of the diamond, right? So since the angle of incidence for the critical angle of diamond is small, diamond more easily traps the beam of light and per doesn't permit it from escaping. So imagine, let's draw a diamond cut ring. Envision like a diamond cut ring here. Of course, there are many, many different cuts of diamond and they sparkle in different ways. Imagine a beam of light coming like this, right? And what is it gonna do? It's gonna go inside of the diamond, right? And at that point, you draw the normal line, right? If this angle is greater than the 24 degrees we found, which it does look like it is, Instead of the beam of light escaping out to air, it will reflect mostly. So the angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of um, reflection. So it will reflect this way, right? So now here you draw the normal line. If this angle is greater than 24, which it does look like it is, that means it won't go into the air, it will reflect. Okay? Now, this angle does look like it is less than 24, right? It looks like it's smaller than 24. So what's going to happen at that point? It's going to re refract into the air away from the normal, right? So somebody here will see a dazzling sparkle, right? The beam of light coming, reflecting, and coming to your eye. And of course, the beam of light is coming at different angles, doing this all kinds of stuff and then going back to your eye. Now, another factor that will happen is that depending on the wavelength of light, the index of refraction of diamond changes. Red versus yellow versus uh, violet, right? So uh, if you have a beam of white light coming, it will split up into its little bit into its spectrum, 
right? So you're going to end up looking something like this, something like that, slightly. Then you're going to end up looking something like this, something like that. By the time they all come here, the different beams of light of different wavelength are kind of at a little angle, right? And then those come to your eye, each one different wavelength, and you see dazzling sparkle of yellow, blue, red, okay? Depending on what angle you look at the diamond, and that gives it a feature of really nice and shine and radiance, okay? So you can see here total internal reflection in diamonds, in um, uh, fiber optic technology, these kinds of things is very important phenomenon, okay? Thank you.